I can't wait to tear out my eyes and pound my fists against the wall in frustration. Ba -dum -bum. That's my theme song for The Samaritan Paradox. Do you like it? All right, let's read a story. Let me tell you a story. Let me tell you a story about one man and his frustrations reading a story about a woman in chapter two of this thing. It's the next chapter of Jonathan Bergwall's fairy tale about Frasia. Let's go. Dear Angar, it is now a month since Vithar departed, and we have to prepare for the worst. The prospect of never again seeing such a heroic young man grieves me, but we have to be realistic. Before too long, we shall have to start looking for a new hero to send out. This is outrageous. We're running out of able young men and women. Would you rather we became slaves to the Vindar? You know as well as I how direly we need that horn. Believe me, if I knew of other ways to withstand the wretched Vindar, I would choose them. He's right. We need the horn. Anything's preferable to succumbing to the Vindar. Within two weeks, we need a fitting young hero to traverse the sea for this noble cause. Peace with you, proud Angar. Don't you think old Mimir will be mad now that we're not attending his meeting? Bah, I know darn well what that meeting will result in. And I know I'm next in line. Are you sure? Maybe we could... Yeah, I am pretty sure. It was just luck when I managed to make Vithra go before me without losing my face. People will expect that I go next, and I don't blame them. Hey, Fenrir, look there! Where? What? In the water. Someone's swimming to the shore. Indeed. It's nobody from the village. Must be a spy from Vastenvin, then. Let us hide and see what she does. A spy? Are you sure? She looks pretty harmless. That is a typical Vindar spy for you, harmless looking. Let us be on the safe side, at least. Come. What a serene landscape, she thought. I hope this is where my home is. Greetings, my good sir. Greetings, stranger. Pray, what is this land called? I fear I am lost. Lost, you say? How very interesting. How so? Ouch! What the fuck? Always hit first and ask later. You can never be sure with the Vindar and their black magic. Better have this spy behind bars before interrogating her. Search her for weapons. Douchebags. Boy, Lorwyn. Fenrir, look at this. By the gods. The horn. The golden clarion horn. Excellent. I think I will go see Mimir after all. Take her to the old prison. I shall deal with her after I have spoken to Mimir. Nobody may talk to her, including you, until I come back. How will you explain the horn? You found it lying around? I will come up with something. I have to hurry. Take her to the old prison. I shall be there shortly and take care of everything. As she slowly gained consciousness, her head ached splittingly. Ah, the spy is awake! What? Where am I? Oh, be quiet. I refuse to talk to spies. Then why did you talk to me? Idiot. Okay, fine, bye. Fine, I shall leave you alone. Pebbles. Devil's Ivy. That doesn't sound pleasant. Vines of Devil's Ivy had climbed down the cell, probably finding moist on the stone wall. There is a plate with some kind of porridge on the stone bench. Yoink. Th that's my porridge! You whiny little shit. I should hit you in the fucking face with these pebbles. The prisoner looked frustrated, but not very criminal. It's my porridge. Th that's my porridge! No. That's my porridge! A brick wall was seen through the window. 
light was coming from somewhere. Hey! A face appeared. Keep it down, Vindar. Why am I being locked up here? I do not even know what a Vindar is. I got strict orders not to listen to you, Vindar spy. And don't try any tricks with poor Wild there. You will get your come up and spy. We will show you how we treat Vindars around here. You are just a bunch of fools, are you not? A cell door was made of steel. It had a window with bars. Yeah, that's not opening anytime soon. There's a bird up there. And I got nothing on me but pebbles. She had in her satchel some small stones. I'm gonna throw them at your face. She could throw the pebbles at him out of spite, but it would accomplish a little. I think spite is an accomplishment enough. I could put them in the porridge. The prisoner would probably just spit them out, not swallow them. And it would be nice if he choked. Alright, maybe I can try to climb this ivy. She wouldn't touch the devil's ivy, not even with gloves. Okay. I guess it got its name from being poisonous or something. I keep trying to click on the bird, but I'm not quick enough. Let's wait for it. She recognized the bird as a sly finch. It was fetching leaves for, of ivy for its nest. Apparently immune to the poison. Okay. I think I need to use it somehow. It's immune to the poison. I don't see how that helps me. I can throw stones at it. I don't see how that helps me. Oh, I know. I probably throw a stone at it, and then it turns out it's a talking bird. I talk to it, and it's kind of like... It's kind of like crow, maybe? And then it ends up, like, helping me and getting a key from me. Yeah, that's probably it. Come on. Yay, I win the video games. The fragment of Devil's Ivy landed on the stone bench and disappeared in a crack, to no use. Oh my god. <sighs> that, that. It's a timing adventure game puzzle. It's it's a time it's a timing it's a time. I can't wait to tear out my eyes. It seriously is a timing adventure game puzzle. One in which you can solve it, but it's just tedious to actually complete. Wonderful. Is this actually what I'm supposed to do? <laughs> Too early. Let's try talking to him. You never told me your name. Told me your name. I am Wild, the Miller's son, and I thought I told you to leave me alone. I don't care about anything you have to say. Do you? Oh, I. Are you? I'm not afraid. You said not over. Me. I can use my voice to control you! True, I no, no, I shall- But I can- I can command you to give me your- Ha! Huh, nice try! See how I go- I see- Okay, you ate it. Wonderful. Is it- is it now mine? Or is it gonna do the same thing? Nope, it's still his porridge. Okay. Can I just have no, him keep eating I, it? I can- huh. See how I... I see. 
No, that's what I'm supposed to do after the leaf falls on the plate. I'm apparently supposed to poison him. Hey, actually, I... You are... See, I... Hey. Do you know... Oh, I'm only... I should... Thank you. Wait, why is the bird staying now? It's staying for some reason. Wait, what the... I don't get it. This is unbearably tedious. I'm just gonna look at the walkthrough to make sure I'm not missing something. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. You're supposed to use the pebble on the red bird, and then you're supposed to interact with the bull. My bad. Okay, go ahead and die now, please. Hey. Yeah, there's something about these, um, fantasy book chapters of the game that seem to have particularly obnoxious puzzles. I just want to get out of here, back to the real world. Are you I'm used? Not a. It's no, but I, I can. Huh. Blarg. Oh, gobble down the precious food right in front of your eyes like a starving pig. I see. Very impressive. Good job. What the? What have you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. Uh, excuse me. Hey. Keep it down. Why am I being? Oh god. You will. You are just a bunch. You. Seeing Frazier in the cell, the jailer refrained from entering. But that's not really what happened. Uh, what? Oh, am I supposed to hide? I'm fun. Do you oh, I'm you not actually. I don't. You are. See, I. Whoops. Hey. Wrong option. Do you. Oh, I. Are you. Not a. It's no, but I. Huh. See how I see. What the? <laughs> Do I hide like here? <laughs> oh, while. What have we done with you? Get over here! Let me go! She shut the door and locked it properly. Hey! Open the door at once! Evil witch! Just you wait till Fenrir gets back! We'll show you how we deal with Vindars around here! That is getting a bit repetitive, frankly. She closed the window shutter, allowing only muffled sounds from the inside. I would say I hope that guy's okay, the one that I poisoned, but I really don't give a shit. He can die horribly for all I care. Apparently it makes me a witch just to be able to punch a stupid, terrible jailer in the face. He's really bad. He's really, really bad. I mean, he entered a cell that he knew had two people when he only saw one person and thought, huh, I wonder where the other... I mean, he didn't even think about the other person. Like, gee, they could be hiding behind the door. Durr. Smart one, that. The chain was rusty and old. Tell me more about this chain. Ancient useless shackles did not interest her. It is Crow! Hey, talk to me! The crow had a message around its leg. Aw, this one didn't talk. The crow didn't object to Frasia taking, taking the message. Mimir, wasting no time, wants to prepare the ritual with me. I won't get a chance to drop by the prison. Tomorrow? I'll be... Tomorrow I'll be war hero? Should that be a war hero? Take care of everything until I'm back. You must get rid of the prisoner. We never met her. She was never there. Your loyal friend, Fenrir. So I escaped in the nick of time. 
Now it seems only three people know about me. Two are in the cell, and the third is going away somewhere. I am probably not in immediate danger. Hmm, why is this block here kind of green and this one's kind of purple? It's suspicious, but I can't click on them, so maybe it doesn't matter. She quickly searched through the backpack and found her knife and the ring from the boat, as well as the chunk of brimstone. She felt much more comfortable with her dagger close at hand. She promised herself not to be fooled into an ambush again. Alright, I've got my useless... Well, not useless, I've got my absurd array of adventure game things. I'm feeling hungry. Apparently she's not, though. She would eat the food had she not been stressed to get away from this place. Wait, stressed to get away from the place? She just said she's probably not in any immediate danger. What? And she sounded completely calm when she said it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Upstairs was only rubble. This whole place appeared derelict. Sorry, this whole place appeared derelict. The whole place. Now I'm tiny. Now I'm... Well, medium. Oh, I want to go back to being tiny. I like being tiny. Everyone should be tiny for a little while. You know, I feel like not enough people in life get to experience being tiny. You know, everybody's like five foot tall. Like, they never got a chance to be small. How sad is that? Hmm. A healthy looking goat was grazing the lush grass. Are you not a beautiful goat? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a, a reference to an adventure game or something like that. I'm guessing. Or perhaps it's just me petting a goat. Beside the cottage, there was a wonderful garden. A homely cottage lay in the shadow of a large, dense tree. A wooden road sign stood at the intersection. Yes, what does it say? Not that the names mean anything to me. Angsmark, one mile to the west. The old prison is up that hill. She knocked on the door. A deep but gentle voice asked her to enter. At a rustic table, a handsome but weathered man was sharpening a scythe. Good morning. My name is Freya. I am sorry for intruding. Oh, do not worry. Can I help you? You look like you have gone through some rough times. I am Torgov, by the way. You could say that. I have no idea where I am to start with. Where you are? You are just outside the village of Angsmark, at the northern end of the Great Peninsula. This is my simple home, where I grow vegetables and fruits which I sell in the village. Where do you come from, stranger? I... I do not know. The people I have met so far have accused me of being a Vindar, but I would not know. How peculiar. Although most foreigners are met with suspicion here, and not seldom accused of being Vindars, the villagers tend to be a bit narrow-minded and extremely wary of outsiders. I prefer not to live right amongst them. You can trust me, though. Even if you turned out to be a Vindar, I would treat you just like a fellow human being. I would just like to come home, wherever that is. Why do you not sit down and eat while you tell me what has happened to you? Oh, yes, thank you. And after I had escaped my captors, I came straight here. I see. Now, I think I can explain some things here. This part of the country is engaged in a cold war with another region, known as the Vastenvind. Inhabited by the Vindar, it is a rather petty feud that nobody remembers the origin of, but the mutual hatred is fiery. Our village elder, Mimir, is bent on defeating the Vindar, and has studied the scriptures to find ways. He's found a legend speaking of a golden horn, 
which should be blown at our holy shrine. Doing so will summon a mighty war spirit that will let us crush the Vendar once and for all. He tracked the horn to the island of the dragon. The dragon easily burns and sinks any warship approaching, but lets single adventurers ashore. So our village has regularly been sending out adventurers from the area to obtain the Golden Horn. Mimir has done his best to convince people that this quest is very heroic and necessary for our survival. The last person to be dispatched was my adopted son, Vithar. He was just nineteen, so Fenrir is a close companion to Mimir and a member of a noble house. He has managed to avoid being sent to the dragon so far, and now he has stolen the horn from you and pretended to have found it. As we speak, he is probably preparing the summoning ritual with Mimir. Please stop me if there is anything you wonder about at this point. Um... No, I, I think you've covered it all. Man who knows everything and is not surprised about a single thing that I've just said. Um... It's, <laughs> this guy's a freaking, like goat and vegetable farmer, and he's like, yeah, summoning more spirits and dragons, like, eh, just another day in the life. Person washes up on the shore, she got the golden thing when everyone else tried and failed, and she doesn't remember anything, she's fine, she escaped and punched, and, yeah, okay. I'm gonna go, uh, pick some cucumbers out of the garden now. Do you want a, do you want a salad? Um... I don't... I don't really care. Okay. I have this ring. It might belong to Vithar. I found it in a boat that was moored at the island. If Vithar was the last adventurer to be sent there, it could be his. By the gods, it must be his ring. Ah, oh, my heart. He wrote about this ring in his letter. You see, as he reached the neutral port of Averheim, he sent me a letter. By then, he was just days away from the island. In the letter, he wrote about a girl he met there. He was only there for two days, to stock up supplies and wait for the bad weather to pass. He and this girl exchanged rings, and they promised to meet again after he had visited the dragon. Of course, he never made it back. Her heart must be broken. That is so sad. You can hold on to that ring. If you ever stop by the port of Averheim, see if you can find the girl and return it to her. I think her name was Ithin. Let her know what happened to Vithar, so she does not think he simply forgot about her. Very well, I will. Can you help me find my home? I do not know. I cannot tell where you are from, only that you are not from here. Do you think I could really be a Vindar, as I have been accused of? Few people here really know much about the Vindar. It is mostly myths and prejudices. They are rumored to be very cunning, and will trick you with words. If you are indeed that cunning and manipulative, then why not? However, with the impending war, crossing the borders to Vastenvind will be nigh on impossible. You should also ask yourself how you ended up at the Island of the Dragon. Maybe the Vindar were also sending out adventurers? Or you were just a seafarer, sailing the sea when a storm brought you to the island? Hard to say. However, we do not have any boats now, as Mimir has banned them. He has banned all boats? Yes. Maybe he's afraid people will leave this place if they can. Goodness. If you feel like you have to ban the transportation that would allow people to leave because they might leave, then there's something wrong and you kinda might suck. Should I be worried about my safety? Of course I should. They're about to friggin' kill me in the prison. Dispatch me before anybody knew about me. What will happen when Fenrir blows the horn? If the legends are true, a war spirit will help the wielder of the horn to defeat his enemies. I imagine the Cold War turning hot and bloody. Does this not worry you? Yes, but after losing Vithar, I do not care that much. With Mimir as a chief, our village was doomed either way. What if I am really a Vendar, then he will contribute to the destruction of my homeland. That is true. Either way, it will be terrible times for all of us. The Cold War was bad enough, but this will be something different altogether. Can Fenrir be stopped somehow? Well, I think they will blow the horn by tonight, so there is time to try to stop it. Maybe I will. If I can prevent a bloody war, I will do this. 
I have no other purpose in life right now, and finding my home will be easier without a war raging. Oh my god, this place is fucking depressing. This person is particularly depressing. I cannot think of anything more right now. You can stay here for as long as you like. I will tell the villagers that you are my guest, and not a Vindar. Hopefully Sirt will rot away unnoticed in the old prison. Nobody goes near it these days. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait. Hopefully he'll rot away in the old prison. You mean we're just... <laughs> we're just supposed to leave him there until he starves to, in, as he slowly starves to death, and then finally dies. Well, you're quite the humanitarian, Torgov. Uh, Torkov seems like a handy domestic man, judging by all the kitchen tools. I'm gonna leave before I become more depressed by this place. I probably need something from in here, though. Do I need vegetables? Do I need any vege vegetables? She would only carry one vegetable at a time. Oh, God. Slender sticks. They pop up behind you when you least expect them. <laughs> I love it when you when you try to use the stove. It says she was careful not to touch the hot stove, even though touching it is exactly what I just tried to do. It's like the game is basically saying you're a fucking idiot. She did not need to warm her hands. You assume I just wanted her to warm her hands. Okay, borrowed a bucket. Oh god, what am I going to be doing with this? I've got a bucket. I've got some resin. And I've got some slender sticks. I'm not even reading this. I don't care about what's in here. I can't grab it. can't grab it. All right, I think I'm good to go. Got a bucket, got my vegetables, that's all I needed. I am actually interested in the story back in the real world, but I'm not interested in the story in this fantasy world. So, I'll probably read all the descriptions for almost everything in the real world, but I'm gonna skip a lot of them here. She didn't feel like acting an outlook. Or did I say look out? No, outlook. To the village. Oh, boathouse, right. Where there's going to be no boats. Some nets hung to dry. Behind them was a fish smoker. There was a fish smoker spreading a nice smell of fish over the area. And there was a faint glow inside. Hmm. Perhaps I'll find smoke. And fish. And there was currently nothing in the smoker she needed to take with her. Perhaps I can smoke some slender sticks, which look suspiciously like. God damn it, what are they called? Spears. Spears of asparagus. That's what they're called. Well, they don't seem to work. Hello? There was no reply, there were also no sounds. Hello? By the way, it's worth mentioning, I'm not sure if I've mentioned it before, but the music, the music in this game is actually really excellent. It's exceptional. A dead tree for a dead town. Oh, this tree would be nice to hang myself from if I only had some rope.
Suppose I could go knocking on random doors. There was a well in the center of the open area. Well, well, well. She's not in need of water. Knock, knock. Home of Mimir, it said on the door. It was locked. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Hello, guard. You're looking rather pixely today compared to me. My fidelity is much higher than yours. I am clearly the superior being. A guard was sitting near the gate. He was armed with a halberd, and his eyes sweep the street vigilantly. Good morning, my good sir. Who are you, and what is your business here? Um, let's not go with the uh, I've lost my memory thing. Um, I'm a guest. I'm a guest of Torgov's. Torgov the farmer. A guest, you say? That is rare. Rare how? Visitors in these parts? Well, all the more reason to treat me well, then. Ha! <laughs> the Angar do not treat strangers well until they have proven themselves trustworthy. But I suppose some courtesy is in place. I am Olaf, and I guard this gate. What lies beyond it? It is the passage to the Mountain Shrine, of course. Mountain Shrine? Sounds... Majestic! Can I go visit the Shrine? No, only in the company of Mimir can he go there. And he does not wish to be disturbed. So nobody can enter that gate? No, not unless you have a special delivery for Mimir. Are there any such deliveries planned today? Well, I am expecting Jonna to bring them some special ingredient later. Thank you for your time. Special ingredients. Perhaps I can make some using a bucket and some vegetables. I'm not sure how special a bunch of vegetables in a bucket would be, <laughs> but it's something. Where can I find Mimir? The man of multiple pronunciations, even though you think everybody within the same town would pronounce his name pretty much the same way, given it's a town that's very, very small. But yes, where is Mimir? Where can I find Mimir? He is up by the shrine. They are preparing an important ritual and cannot be disturbed. I see. Have you seen Fenrir around? Fenrir is accompanying Mimir at the shrine. <laughs> they are preparing an important ritual. I love the way he says, me mir It's like he's got a pause right after the me. It's like, me mir like You can find me mir at the blah blah blah. Can I? No. Only in the... So no. Are well, thank you. I have... Drop. Oh, here we go. Ingredients. Be a good place to make it. Fireplace. Innkeeper. Looks like he's got a... Uh... Fuck, I forgot the name of it. Rolly things. Uh... I don't remember the name. I rarely use them myself. She recognized the pattern on the middle shield from the one she found on the Dragon Island. The colors of Aang's mark, she thought. Hmm. Decorative sabers hung on the wall. The fire was hot and roaring. The most marketable commodity around. Mead. The keeper of the inn was a large, bearded man. Good morning, innkeeper. Really? Who says that? I, Freya, guest of Torgov's, wish you a good morning. So, Torgov's guest stooped to visit the village. That's more than you can say about Torgov himself. So... How can I help you? I don't mean to alarm you, but it kind of looks like you're wearing a gigantic condom on your head. What is the latest news? What news? You are an innkeeper. Are you not supposed to know the latest gossip? Tidings from abroad? The word from the road? Look, stranger. I've had one or two patrons a day, and I've had the same news for twenty years. I suppose where you come from, the inns are bustling with activity and rumors. This is Angsmark. The only thing that changes here is when the ebb turns into flow. And 
Even that does not always happen. Very well. Do you know how I can access the shrine? The Holy Mountain Shrine? Yes, that one. I think Mimir and Fenrir went up there to prepare an important ritual. So it's likely closed off. You can probably visit it tomorrow again. What can you tell me about Jonar? Jonar is one of Mimir's disciples. Why? Just curious. Where can I find Jonar? Beside the tower is the scriptorium. He should be there. The tower? What tower? What can you serve me? I can serve you bread, soup, and mead. The bread is tough, the soup is watery, but the mead is strong. <laughs> that was a meager assortment. Well, we can have proper trade, so there's a certain shortage of produce. How come? Because me... You know, we best not risk having spies here. The borders are best closed. So, any mead? Thank you, I will wait a bit. Goodbye. Till I meet you again. Would you like some vegetables so you can spice up your soup? Slender sticks. Boo. Oh. Nope. Good morning. So goodbye. Till I meet. Oh, that's a natural conversation. Good morning, innkeeper. So, how can I help you? Goodbye. Till I meet you again. <laughs> Hello. How can I help you? Goodbye. Um, alright, what am I supposed to do? I obviously need to get up to the shrine, so I need a special something. Good morning. Can I- No, only- So no- No. Are there any- Well, I am expecting- Thank you. I- Special ingredients is all he says. Oh, here we go. Greetings, scholar. Oh, a visitor. Nice to meet you. I am Jonar. And I am Freya. What can I do for you, Freya? See? That man knows how to pronounce her name. I respect you. What can you tell me about the Holy Shrine? The Holy Mountain Shrine is where we speak to the spirits and sacrifice to the gods. It is the most sacred place of Angsmark. Can I go visit it? On a normal day, yes, but not now. Our great leader, Mimir, is preparing a ritual there and must not be bothered. Only I may go there to provide supplies that they may need. I still have one ingredient to fetch for their ritual. Can I not join you there? Sure. In a few years when you have studied the teachings well and have become a second level disciple like me. I see. Thank you. I feel like this man could say the most horrible things, but his tone of voice just makes it sound very pleasant. Like... The shrine is where we sacrifice young children to the gods. It is a just and beautiful thing. Can I get you a cup of water? I didn't even pay attention to what he said. What he what did he want? What can you The holy it is the most can I on a normal only I may go there to provide supplies that they may need. Can I not Sure. In a few years when you have studied the teaching I see Okay, so in the next two seconds, or two minutes or so, I need to become a second-level disciple. Okay. What do you- This is the scriptorium of the temple. I study the teachings of Mimir, our leader, representative of the gods. I see. Well, the gods are apparently gigantic dicks. If he's representative of them. What are the teachings all about? We train our minds here by reading the holy scriptures. Only Mimir and his disciples, one of which is I, can read them. It makes us mentally strong and able to lead this people. What people? The Angar, of course. <sighs> of course. So, your holy order are the leaders of the Angar because you're the most learned. Not just learned, but intelligent, sharp, observant. How impressive. Angsmark needs strong leaders if we are going to stand up against the Vindar. Ah, yes. The Vindar. I bet only a few people can read them, because only a few people can actually read. Um, excuse me, what did you say? Uh, nothing. Um, I gotta go. I must go. Goodbye. The scriptorium also served as a sleeping quarters, it seemed. 
She saw a note on the table. Let me guess, the missing ingredient. It was surely filled with the collective wisdom of Mimir and his disciples. She was already appalled by the cult and their teachings. She had no interest in delving into it any deeper. The note said scales of basilisk, milk of capricornus, tooth of sphinx. Okay, I have none of those. Only milk of capricornus was not crossed over. Milk of a capricornus. What is a capricornus? A capricorn. Corn. Candy corn. Capra. Kappa. Kappa. I'm just imagining the, uh, the Kappa face in Twitch chat. Um, Capra Demon from Dark Souls? Kappa Demon. Is it a unicorn? Can you milk a unicorn? What the fuck's the Capricornus? Do you need anything else? No, I should be on my way. She had no business inside the temple. Okay, somebody tell me where I can get the where I can milk a um uh, a something or other, please. Somebody tell me where I can milk some corn. Where am I going? Oh. I like how the hotspot to go back to the hill is like 10 pixels between the ground and the part where the bottom of the inventory pops up and then covers up the part you're about to click. That's wonderful. But at least the music's pleasant. Come here, goatee. Are you a Capricornus? Are you not a beautiful goat? <laughs> you know what? I do have a milking bucket. The goat didn't object to being milked. Yay! Put in some slender sticks. Oh, wait, what the... F that, that worked? Uh... I was joking. Wait, why is it green? Did I blend them? It wouldn't just turn green, you just have floating sticks of asparagus inside of a bucket of milk. It wouldn't just turn green. <laughs> um. Okay, so I need something that looks like Capricornus milk. What does Capricornus milk look like? I don't know. Yes, my. You're not gonna tell me. Goodbye. Till we meet. Who's gonna tell me what Capricornus looks like? Okay. Yellow. Can I mix in multiple colors? I don't know if that mixed colors or if it just completely changed it. The milk turned out muddy and discolored, so she poured it out. Okay, so it looks like you can combine two colors, maybe. But I don't even know what color I'm supposed to be making. Right. Uh, I'm just going to look at the walkthrough, because I don't care. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're supposed to ask the innkeeper about the milk. Okay. Because the innkeeper is more likely to know about the milk of whatever a Capricornus is than the guy who owns a farm? Um, right. Wrong place. Greetings. No, shut up. Go away. I hate you. I'm a Goodbye. Good morning. So, how can I help you? Are you familiar with milk of Capricornus? The milk of a Capricorn. I have heard about Arr, it. I've heard it's about it, matey. It's supposed to be brown and reek of hell. Why do you wonder? I was just curious. What is it used for? Magic, I would guess. Rituals. Thank you. 
Brown and Reek of Hell. Goodbye. July. Okay. Isn't brown the color you get when you basically mix a bunch of other colors? As in, once you don't have any distinct color, it becomes brown? But it's also supposed to reek, so how do I make it smell like shit? Oh, I know. There's a goat out there, why don't I just mix its shit into it? Perfect. Goat shit. Let me see if there's a brown vegetable. Perhaps a potato. Actually, potato's not brown. It's brown on the outside, but the inside isn't brown. It's mostly white. A little bit kind of tannish, yellowish, I guess. Slightly. Mm, nope, that's not going to work. Nope. Actually, none of these are brown. I guess, yellow plus... Mm, plus red? Dyed carrot orange. Uh, no. Oh, wait a minute, that... Dyed brown! Okay, I don't know if it smells like shit, but... It is brown. Hold on. Perhaps I'm supposed to smoke it. Although I don't know why that'd make it smell like shit. Actually, if anything, I'd just make it smell smoky, which is kind of a good smell. I don't know. I think smoky things smell good. When it comes to food. She put the bucket bucket of dyed milk on the shelf above the charcoal. Okay. Uh, can I eat some berries? There was currently nothing in the smoker she needed to take with her. I'm pretty sure there is. My bucket of motherfucking brown milk. Perhaps I need to leave the screen and come back. For that is perhaps what counts as pet the passing of time in an adventure game. Um, what? Okay, do I need to put something in there with it? I probably do. Brimstone? She put the brimstone crystal in the charcoal bed. An intense suffocating odor was starting to spread. Okay. She let the milk absorb plenty of smoke before she took it. Well, no food made in that smoker is going to smell right for a long time. It now reeked of brimstone. Great, brown brimstoney goat's milk. Ugh. Greeting, scholar. What? I guess I have to say I have to go, and then I give it to him? Oh, maybe I just go. Good morning. Can I- No. So nobody- No. Not on- Are there any- Well, I- Thank you. I- Drop- Okay, do I use it on him? What do I do with the bucket? Great. What? Can what? Can the it is. The can I on a normal? Only I. Can I not? Sure. I see. I'm a goodbye. All right. It's dyed brown and it reeks of brimstone. You don't want it. Okay. I don't want you. Walk through. Mm-hmm. Use the brimstone on the smoker. Yep, uh-huh. Talk to Jonar until you get the option to ask if he really is so clever. Talk to Jonar until you get the option to ask if he really is so clever. This begins the riddle puzzle. 
What? Uh, okay, huh? Greetings. What? What do you? This is this I studied represent. I see. What can you tell? The holy mount. It is the most. Si can I? On a normal. Only. Can. Sure. I see. What are the teeth? We train our mind. It makes us. What people? The Angar. <sighs> of course. So your holy or. Not just learn. How am. Angsmark needs. Ah, yes. I'm not getting the option. Goodbye. So I missed something. Okay. Examine the note on the table. I already did that. It doesn't seem like I'm missing anything from what I'm looking at in the walkthrough. Do you need anything else? No, I sh Do you No. Greeting. What? I'm not getting the option to do the riddle. What what riddle? What are we it what the <sighs> Of course. Not just look how in Angsmark needs. Ah, yeah. I must goodbye. What the hell am I missing? Yeah, ask the innkeeper, uh-huh. Henry and beat deep berries and round root. Already did that. Stop at the watchtower, use the brimstone, use the milk on the smoker, retrieve the milk, return to the scriptorium, and talk to Jonar until you get the option to ask if he really is so clever. This begins the riddle puzzle. Return to the gate and complete the riddle puzzle to enter. What? Oh, hold on. I think I know what it is. It's one of those dumb things where you need to click on just the right dialogue option. You gotta remember, in adventure games, you often have to treat people as, like, machines that spit out... Uh, they spit out scripts that you need to activate for you to be able to progress in the game. Good morning. So... Here we go. This is probably it. What can you? Jonar is one of Mimir's disciples. Just where can I? Beside the. T was that really it? I thought he was going to tell me something about his intelligence that would trigger me to do the whole riddle thing. Are you? The that's supposed to be boy. I. W Magic. Thank you. Goodbye. Till I. Was that? I just had to ask about Jonar, and <laughs> that's it. Is that what I'm missing? Great. What? What are the? We train our mind. It what? The uh, of course not. How? Angst. Ah, uh, yeah. What can you? The holy mountain shrine. It is the most. Can I? On an oh, sure. I see. What? The ice rep. I see. What are it? What? The uh, of course not. How? Angst. Ah, uh, yeah. I I don't even. What? I must. Good. <sighs> I'll be right back. Okay, um, if this guy is giving me a riddle in what he's saying, then I'm, it's so <laughs> coded and so standard sounding that it doesn't even sound like a riddle. Nothing he says sounds like a riddle, and nothing I'm asking him sounds like what the walkthrough says is asking him if he really is so smart. Which is apparently what you're supposed to do to get the riddle, and the point of getting the riddle is to unlock the thing on the gate. Because apparently you, there is the thing on the gate, I just never clicked on the door itself. There's this thing. Because for some reason you're supposed to completely ignore the guard and just fiddle with the gate anyway? I'd like to mention this guard is extremely suspicious of spies and anyone coming in, and yet he... You can just go up and start fiddling with the code lock thing on the door and he doesn't care? What? Okay. So even though I'm pretty sure this quest is bugged for me, because I can't seem to get the riddle... That or the riddle is just so horribly designed, it's not even clear that it is a riddle. Even though I can't get that, I'm just going to use the walkthrough and hope that it'll let me through anyway. Because otherwise I've got to restart. So... Yeah. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to have a... Uh... Question mark. A bed. A candle and a coffin. Okay. Wonderful. The gate was unlocked, so she began to push it open, and, and the guard has no problem with this. Hey, what are you doing? I... 
I am delivering the special goods to Mimir and Fenrir. Let me see. I know what Mimir has requested. Mimir. It seems you have what Mimir has requested. Mimir. I guess I will let you pass. But if it turns out you have tricked me, pray that the gods help you. Sure. She opened the gate and entered a lot. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay. Um. Right, so instead of convincing the guard that you're the one that's supposed to go in there, you're supposed to just try to go in anyway and then hope the guard is okay with it. Right. The room is partly illuminated by phosphorescent emeralds inserted in the rock wall. Can I grab them? They look like they might be worth a lot. I could sell them on the black market. There is a single book on the stand, the only piece of furniture in the cave room. There appear to be a book on how to read some kind of demonic language. Oh, my favorite! Aha! Uh -huh. You know, I was wondering what's the point of me reading this book in the other world, and I think I just found it. Because these are the symbols on the wall in the bunker. She knew better than to touch anything to do with the realm of demons. She pushed the door gently and was met by the sheen of the setting sun. That's where chapter two ends. Damn, it just started to get exciting. All right, let's go back to the badunkadunk. All right, four-number combination. And here is a button panel. Yep, pretty clear what I'm supposed to do. Okay, it's time to write some stuff down, which is actually a part I enjoy in games. Let's see if I can get this. So, you got, you got a swoopity swoop and a swoopity sweep and a sweepity swap. And you got like a z, z. All of these shapes have noises, by the way. Whip. And what And a hit. And an O. Okay. Alright, first one is... Can I find it? Well, that one's two. The O is five. <laughs> one of these I can't find. Huh, that's a problem. Oh wait, that one's... Alright, that one's one. What the fuck is this one? I think I found... I think it's a six. I don't know. I'll go with it. Six, one, two, five. That appeared to be the correct code. Excellent. I shouldn't open the door before the door before I'm sure the coast is clear on the other side. Kinda wish this damn fan that I turned on would shut up. It's very annoying. This one doesn't open, right? It's welded? Yeah, it's welded. Okay, so how do I make sure it's clear on the other side? Um Yeah, what? How do I how do I make sure it's clear on the other side? You could listen in. I think I can hear voices from the other side. Okay, so it's not clear. All right. So what do I do? Okay, bye. I'm supposed to do? Oh, 
Oh. Of course, I'm supposed to search the lower left drawer underneath the switches and pick up the mace. Of course. I'm supposed to click on the lower drawer that can actually be interacted with when none of the other drawers can be interacted with. That makes sense. Ord? I want you to mace yourself right in the fucking eyes right now. Spray it on your dick too. See how that feels. I wonder if I wonder how that feels if you sprayed mace on your dick. Would that sting? It'd probably sting. Use mace on Ord. Alright, so I've got a <laughs> I've got a sack and I've got some mace. Am I gonna be putting a sack over someone's head and then like spraying their face? Oh my god. Shit's getting hardcore. I don't think I can use the mace with the door. What, what am I supposed to do with this? I can't combine the old sack with the mace. Oh, you don't want to make a creepy murder kit? What am I supposed to do with this shit? You gotta be fucking cutting me. Oh, I'm supposed to interact with the fan blades to extract the panel. I can't interact with the fan while it's switched on. <sighs> Didn't I already try to use the switches? Apparently I didn't. Okay. I've got a fan panel. Whoop-de-doo. Am I gonna put mace in the ventilation system? Is that what I'm doing? Let's put the mace in there. I'll push it really gently to let out some spray. What the fuck? Isn't that going to mace myself? Isn't that just going to gently mace everybody inside of here, including myself? How the fuck is that a good idea? Okay. Right, so I'm going to hear screaming behind the door, and then I'm going to put a sack over his head. That's totally not illegal at all. I'm waiting for the screaming. Maybe it's just supposed to gently annoy them so that they just fuck off. Like, oh, it must be my allergies acting up. I think I hear voices from the other... Okay. So that, that wasn't it. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm supposed to examine the panel after I take it off and turn it over and interact with the wires. Sorry, I, I missed a step. Whoops. What am I doing with my life? I'll switch the cables here. Okay, so I've reversed the direction, so now it sucks instead of blows. I'm just gonna preemptive look at the walkthrough, I'm not even gonna fucking bother. Use the old sack with the opening of the left hand pipe. What? Am, am I supposed to use the sack in here? The hole on the left. What hole on the left? What? There's actually three separate hotspots here. There's three separate hotspots here. 
There's the mace, there's the compartment, and there's the hole. Hold on, everyone. Let's literally count the pixels of the hotspot of the hole. This is a fun game, children. Let's count the pixels of the hotspot. The horizontal pixels for the hotspot of hole. One. One pixel. Two. Three pixels. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. That's right, children. Four pixels wide. Good job. Let's stuff the hole with this rag. Why? Oh, I'm blocking it up so it doesn't affect me. <sighs> right, so... There's a person in a room I want gone, so my solution to that is to turn off the fan, get the mace out of the one drawer that can be interacted with, turn the fan panel, uh, get the fan panel off, turn it around, flip the wire so it doesn't blow out to me, then put the mace inside of the empty spot, and then put a, stuff a, a rag inside of the four pixel horizontally wide hotspot for the hole, so that it now doesn't blow out and it also doesn't blow back to me. And then I spray a little bit of the... a little bit of the... the stuff out of the can, and then I put the fan panel back on, and then I turn it on, and then I win the games. Okay. I can hear footsteps walking away hurriedly. I think I've made someone leave their duty. Ventilation must have created a drought that slammed the back door shut. If I can't open the door to the right, I'm probably quite trapped here. The door is locked. There's no way whatsoever I can open it now. Okay. We must go deeper. Isn't it? St isn't it still gonna be all kind of um, macy in there? Andreas, are you there? Respond immediately. Andreas, you better be on duty when the bus gets there. Someone's in trouble. And me too, if I don't get out of here quickly. I'll be trapped like a rat. Is this actually timed? It wouldn't surprise me if it is. There's a thermos and some magazines here. Looks like this is the guard station. Are you serious? Are you serious? I would like to point out here, <clears throat> Ord picked up a fan, an electric fan, and carried it around in his pocket for two, about two days until he finally used it to blow some papers around in a church to distract a priest or whatever. And this man, this man that carried an electric fan in his pocket for days for no reason is saying, I can't pick up Everything I see. <sighs> That's the vent leading out... leading out air from the tunnel. There's still a subtle smell of tear gas coming out. Tear gas? What? It's mace. Is tear gas the same thing as mace? Hold on. Wikipedia to the rescue, tear gas. Bum, 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 bum. Tear gas, formerly known as, oh god, uh, blah, 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 non lethal chemical, uh huh. It uh, stimulates the corneal nerves in the eyes, cause tears, pain, and even blindness. Common ones include pepper spray. And, uh, mace, a branded mixture. I learned something new today! Mace and pepper spray is apparently a form of tear gas. Okay, fair enough. <laughs>